Being a carer is very demanding. It's not something you choose to do yourself that you go into as a career. You choose to be a parent, you choose to be a doctor or a lawyer, but you don't choose to be a carer. You wouldn't want to choose that. Um, but it can be rewarding. It's very time consuming. You have to make many changes in your life, financial changes, career changes. Um, you have to look at life in a different way. And there are many do's and many don'ts that you have as a carer. Um, but you have to make the most of it. It's your child and they need you more than other children need their parents. And so you have to look at it in the best possible way and just get your bearings around with all the support that you can get and that you feel that you want to have and try to make the, the best out of the job. And, you know, you can have really good moments and feel really rewarded uh, by being a carer and feeling that your child is well and that you find that you are providing good care and they, that they're healthier than you expected and you're finding your bearings around it's difficult but it's also very rewarding I think that's the thing it's not something you choose to do <clears throat> but when you do it it's, it's incredibly rewarding because you know you're actually you're helping your, your child we have, we're helping Emily we're making her comfortable and we do things that make her smile that she enjoys and that to us is the most important thing. As long as she's happy, it makes us happy. I just do it. It's, it feels right. It just, yeah. I, I can't explain it. <laughs> you have no choice. Um, for me, it's just part of being Isabella's mum um, and I don't have any uh, bad feelings about that at all. It is, it is my job in life to give her the best uh, that she could possibly have. Um, so there's lots of things that have been put to one side but it doesn't bother me in the slightest. Like she's the most important person. I think it's quite rewarding when, you, when Isabella gives something back to us in terms of expressions in her face um, that we know that we're doing a good job for her. And as Deborah said, it's, um, it's part and parcel of being her, 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 her. It can be quite stressful. It can be quite tiring, um, emotionally tiring, tiring more than physically. Um, You get so many mixed emotions with this whole package, really. You feel anger, you feel why. There's so many questions and answers that you're rooting for all the time, and that's where the exhaustion comes into, because obviously you wear yourself down. The role of being carer was very tough. I was a first-time mum, first-time mum to twins, and then suddenly I'm first time mum to twins and one has a life limiting condition. Um, but I grew into that role and although physically demanding that'll be the hardest thing I'll ever have to do, I'm sure, mentally, physically and emotionally, um, I actually loved caring for Ruby. Um, you know, that was my life, she was my life and uh, I'd willingly have done that for 50 years. So it was, I can't say it wasn't tough because it was, um, but it was very fulfilling in many ways too.